Okay, family, welcome back to another video. This is the first time tuning in. My name is Gregory Falcon. I'm based in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been involved in the real estate business for 30 years, so trucking for 20 years. I also invest in the stock market, cryptocurrency, and I teach a financial literacy course. But today's topic is um, we're going to talk about do you want to buy or lease a dump truck? In today's times, dump trucks are extremely expensive. You're talking about the last time I bought a dump truck, a new dump truck was 2016. Dump trucks was um, $185,000. Today, a new dump truck is $275,000. So today, we're going to do some basic math. And family, you guys let me know which direction you think I should go in. Right now, I have a few dump trucks on order. But peak season is coming up in March, and I really got to get some trucks on the road to handle the peak season. Come around March 15th to December the 15th, we run a day and night shift five to six days a week. So I need as many trucks as I can get. But let's just go over some basic math. So in 2016, uh, when I bought my last um, new truck, it was a 2016 Kenworth T880. They were 185000 So at that time, the interest rates were 3% roughly. And my payment was um, $3,324. Roughly was my payment at that time on a new dump truck. Now, what I always do, we buy dump trucks uh, at the new year and hopefully get them in by March because we want a title in March. And what I try and teach people to do, they always say, hey, man, that $3,000 payment is a lot to stomach. And I understand because most people homes doesn't cost $3,000 a month, the mortgage payment. But here's how we end up doing it. It actually is more than $3,000 once I explain how we put the systems together, how we put everything together. So we basically do our mortgage uh, payment on the trucks for nine month payments instead of 12 months payments. So if you do a nine month payment at uh, 3%, $185,000 is $3,324 and roughly 21 cent. But if you spread that same payment and you bunch it into nine months, so if you do the $3,324 times 12 months, you get $39,890. Divide that by nine, you get a payment of $4,432.20. Now, the reason why we do this, our peak season is running between middle March and middle of December. And after December 15th, roughly Christmas to New Year, the holidays, wintertime, it slows down. So we have a huge paving contract that we pave at night and we pave during the day. So the truck can run two shifts day and night for nine months. So what I do, I place my truck payment out nine months, my insurance payment out nine months, because those are my peak hours and peak times of working. And that's when I'm making the most money. So during the three months of downtime, I don't have a truck payment and I don't have insurance payment because I paid it through the nine month period of when we was working day and night. I can afford a payment from $3,300 to $4,400, $1,100 more a month. And then three months out of the year, I don't have a payment. So now all I really got to pay is fuel and take care of my drivers. And everybody knows in the dump truck business, during the slow season, you don't work as much. You may get three to four days a week compared to during the summertime where you're getting five to six days a week. That's why I set it up that way. And I do another video on teaching you how we buy new trucks, how we space it out, like I'm saying, and the reason behind doing a nine-month payment plan instead of a 12-month payment plan. A lot of people don't know when you go purchase a new truck, they do what they call the skip payment. And that way you can pick three months out of the year. You don't have to make a payment. Now you're making the same amount of money over the course of a year. You're making the same payment. It's just now instead of spreading it out over 12 months, like I said, $3,300, you're going to spread the payments over nine months and have it be $4,400. And they did that because back before the last recession, uh, a lot of guys were stressed in. They couldn't make the truck payments. This way they designed a system that now during the slow time, you can strategically not have a truck payment and not have an uh, insurance payment. And this way you can save money and be able to keep your business afloat until the summertime comes around and peak season kicks off again. So that's one of the reasons why we do a nine month payment plan. But also right now, while I'm waiting on trucks to come in, I need a truck. So now we have to lease a truck. So when I first started in the dump truck business, when I transitioned from tractor trailers to dump trucks in 2016, they wasn't leasing dump trucks, but now it's such a high demand for dump trucks, they're leasing dump trucks. So right now, Kenworth just emailed me today. They're giving me a 2023 Kenworth T880 
for $1,350 a week. Let me repeat that, $1,350 a week payment, plus 16 cent a mile. Again, 16 cent a mile. So family, let me know below if you think this is a good deal. Should I lease the truck or wait till the end of the year to buy a new truck? Now, mind you, I'm still gonna make a profit. I know, I know $5,400 a month, Plus miles, we're estimating the payments will be roughly $6,000 a month. But again, we're working day and night. We should be able to cover the $6,000 a month payment with no problem. So again, leave me some comments below. Let me know what your thought process is. Should I wait for the new dump truck or go ahead on and buy and lease the used dump truck? So I'm waiting on Mac and some other people to get back with me on their lease terms. But again, this is going to be a 2023 uh, zero miles. It's a brand new truck, $13.50 a week, $0.16 cent a mile, which is roughly going to come out to $6,000 a month because we do about 1,000 miles a week. If you do 4,000 miles times $0.16, cent, that'll give you the, the total amount to add on. It's about another $640 a month in mileage pay that I'm going to have to end up paying on top of that, then I have my own insurance to run, so that's no big deal. I'm used to paying the insurance payment for the trucks, but we need the truck because we have two huge contracts here in Charlotte that's running for the next three years that we're going to be paving day and night. Plus, the lease covers all maintenance, all oil changes, everything I need to do, and it fills the gap until I get to the end of the year that my new truck will be in. But still, I mean, <laughs> when the guy told me thirteen fifty a week, it really shocked me. So I don't know if anybody out here been looking to lease a truck because we all know trying to buy a truck is very tough now. And at this point in my career, I don't buy used trucks. I only buy new trucks. I bought all the used dump trucks. I've been through the headache with used dump trucks. I've been through the headaches with used tractor trailers, used reefers. I've been in all types of different trucking business. But for the last eight years, I've been settled into the dump truck business only. And it's been very profitable and very good. So again, we'll be working day and night. The truck will be working 16 hours a day. So the truck will be making roughly $1,600 a day. So if you add that $1,600 a day over the course of 20 days, it's, you know, it's a five day work week, we're gonna make roughly $32,000. So now that $6,000 don't sound like a whole lot. Now, if you minus out salaries, fuel, uh, truck payment, all of that comes up to about $17,960 a month, and we're going to gross out $32,000 a month. So that's going to leave us a net profit of $14,000 a month, roughly. I mean, even if you did it on $1,600 in 15 days, because again, we're running day and night, 15 days will give me one day off every week of the month. And that would give me 15 days. That's still $24,000 a month instead of $32,000 a month. And if all my costs is the same, which is $17,960, I'm still going to net out $6,000 a month. I think making $6,000 a month is better than making nothing and waiting on the new truck to come in. So again, fam, I'm going to try something different. Let me know what your thoughts, what your process is, what you think about leasing a dump truck right now until my new one come in. And again, last dump truck I bought new was in 2016. It was 185,000. The new dump trucks now are 275,000. And they're at roughly a 6% interest rate because now everybody know interest rates went up. So for five years on a new dump truck, my payment's gonna be $5,316 a month. Again, I'm still gonna do the same process. I'm gonna narrow it down and take that monthly payment over 12 months and divided by a nine month payment plan. And my payment would be about $7,000 a month. I know it's a lot to pay for a dump truck, but we have a lot of contracts and we have a lot of work here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and everybody's gonna stay extremely busy. So again, remember a new dump truck between $5,300 and $7,000. Last dump truck I bought, 2016, which was a brand new dump truck, it's 185,000. It ran 3,300 to $4,300 a month. But now I'm about to sign a lease, the lease of dump truck that's gonna be $5,400 a month plus 16 cent a mile. All right, family, if you like videos like this, me breaking down the math or how much I'm spending on a truck payment, 
how much we're making a day, how much we're netting from out here working. Please leave some comments below and let me know what you think. And please, please give me your honest opinion on what you think is going on. Okay, family, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody tuning in and have a great day.